Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Ghost and Spirits video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's start a whole new entry here, a whole new set of videos based on your suggestions. Please keep those suggestions coming. I'm going to go ahead and do maybe five or six videos in total this go around and then I'll give it a rest and then I'll also look at some of the past suggestions too if needed. So this particular new suggestion actually has to do with a haunted place, a haunted location location. I love talking about those spots because I could just imagine one day being able to go visit those exact locations. You know how much I love specific spots and then that way I'll be able to share this with everyone. Those of you that may be in this area too, it'll give you a good opportunity to at least go see it and at least on my end on the rare occasion if their text is related I have been able to go visit some of those spots specifically. But yes this particular entry though has to do with this. You're looking at the place now, this is known as the most haunted house in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So let's go ahead and let's talk about all the fascinating info associated with this notoriously haunted spot. The fact that it's considered the most haunted spot in that country, that definitely stands out. So yes, indeed, this, this house is located there in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and um, it was apparently built a long ways back in the 19th century. I heavily doubt that this is the actual house. In fact, I'm about 100% sure that this is not the house itself when it was originally built. And I'll explain that more here in a minute. But the way the story goes, this place was built in that land when the Ottomans ruled that location. Apparently they did so though, and they put up tents and they put up some kind of living conditions there, despite the fact that it was known as being a cemetery or a graveyard that already existed there. Maybe these Ottomans knew, maybe they didn't. Either way though, they continued to build that spot there, and then they decided to try to make it habitable. Unfortunately though, they learned their lesson soon because as the story goes, goes cut to a couple of nights after just coming in after just moving in and then they disappeared completely in fact by the fifth night they were 100 percent gone and the reason for this was because apparently this was the start of all the haunting tales of all the haunting uh items reported sightings that have occurred in that location whatever it was that that happened there it definitely drew these people out of there immediately. So it cut to a little bit later, and then another man purchased a property right there. In fact, he decided, and apparently he heard the stories there too, he decided that none of it mattered. He wanted to build his house. He wanted to create something there from scratch. Now, as far as the actual hauntings and the people that report them there, his apparently his is the one that's noted as, as being the first one to explain these specific hauntings. So apparently weird noises start coming from the rooms of the house itself. Apparently people heard crying, they heard wails of terror, they heard something along the lines of, of screams happening throughout the rooms itself. The man, of course, decided that he was not going to stay there, even though he built the house, even though that was his property. Now, a couple of months after coming in, he was gone as well. So he was never to return and he left the house abandoned as is. This was somewhere around apparently during the World War I era, if I'm not mistaken as far as to that timeline. Cut to World War II and the era around that time period and it was left alone. People apparently knew that that location was haunted and they didn't want to have anything to do with it. Maybe they also knew again about the aforementioned cemetery or graveyard that was there as well that should have been left alone. And so they decided to, to, to stick to that and they left it. In fact, this picture here I found from a YouTube spot, which I'll include the link below. If you wanted to see the outside of the house and then the inside of the house, I'll include some pictures here. But if you wanted to see a video of it, you'll be able to do so. Note though that the house itself is purposely almost kept at a distance from the nearby town. It does seem like everyone there knows the reputation of this home, of this house, and they don't want anything to have to do with it. As as I read in another article when I was re uh, when I was looking up the info on this haunting, apparently there's a brochure there somewhere there that says to quote unquote keep a safe distance when it comes to this home. So after World War II cut to about 25 years later and yet again another person decided to build on this property. Uh, apparently the other home previously, uh, it burned down, if I'm not mistaken, like it was something where it was just 
destroyed or something on those lines so he decided to build yet another home there his entire family everyone knew about the hauntings from that home they tried to reason with him but he said no he's gonna lay the foundation lay the groundwork he's gonna build the home and he did so he built it in fact i believe his home is the one we're looking at now the one that eventually again became abandoned this is the latest home that was there the other two homes uh, especially the earlier one whatever it was as far as those tents or anything else built by the ottomans and then of course with the second owner those are long gone this is the one i believe that now is there and because if you look at some of the pictures you'll find too that there's a carport or a garage there as well and clearly that wouldn't be there during the early time periods too so he built the home and then all of a sudden he left he was uh, he was gone as well um, apparently his 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 bravado didn't last too long because he decided to leave and it was gone and and that was it he just left it completely abandoned and then there was yet another tenant that came in afterward this one was though was during more unfortunate times it was during the bosnian war and in the, the, that time period this home was used for other purposes the way the legend goes is that this was used as a prison and not only that but there were a lot of executions within that home too lots of innocent people that were apparently executed there maybe some guilty ones too but the point is there were a lot of deaths that occurred directly now in that home so compound it with the fact that you had a cemetery slash graveyard before that should have had not have had anything built on it everyone gave warnings about it since centuries ago and people still did something as far as creating a home there and now you have more new deaths associated with that location not including of course the the ones involving the innocent parties those executed there and that just compounds on all the hauntings that are there but after that was done then the house was boarded up, the prison was abandoned, the house was boarded up. I could only imagine what the guards and everyone else that happened to be there during that prison time and the inmates, what they had heard uh, when they were locked up in there. But yeah, everything was boarded up and then it was just completely abandoned. In fact, it was probably left in a state of living decay, which is why the pictures show it as it is now. It looks just completely ruined. Nobody clearly has lived there for a long, long time and nature has taken its course and there's just dilapidated walls, broken windows, uh, everything as far as something just completely just outright abandoned but more on the hauntings that people stayed there yes indeed you can go visit this home now which by the way i wanted to mention too about the video um, check out the link again it's a nice walkthrough both outside and inside but the only thing i didn't like is i don't think uh, that this home uh, if if it was visited hopefully it was done with permission on the inside because if not then i don't think there was anything involving someone contacting that owner of the property where it was to be able to inspect the inside because this is apparently private land this is actually still owned by someone out there it's not any kind of public land so if you're going to go visit a location like this always 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 please make sure that you have something along the lines of permission from those owners believe me i've been to plenty of haunted locations now where they are locked up they're secure but it would be so easy to just climb over the fence to be able to just go into a doorway somewhere and then explore that location as is. But I never do that because that is private property. You need to have permission. You want to make sure that you're complying with everything needed in order to do so. And sometimes I'll be, I'm looking at just on the outside wondering, wow, how great would it be to just be there just on the inside, so close yet so far. But I don't do so without any permission. So if the people in this video did do that, it's great. Then they got the permission and you'll see it there. But if not, I, he I heavily hesitate, you know, I hesitate everyone from doing something like that because you want to make sure that that you that you're flying compliance for some of this comes actually from zach baggins and then also ghost adventures they even showcase some guy who they interviewed and right up front zach asked him and what were you not supposed to do again like he because he already knew the answer but he wanted to make sure that the guy explained it to everyone that was viewing that episode and he said yeah i visited this place without permission and then the cops were called and then i was taken to jail and i spent the night that kind of stuff and so he, he uh, zach even looked directly at the camera and again 
explain to everyone that be sure to not trespass on anything if you don't have that permission but that being said it's a great video to watch and you'll get to see it but yeah if you're there visiting that location apparently you can still hear voices you'll hear those cries that I was mentioning earlier those screams all those whales uh, that are happening straight into the day maybe even into the night most likely into the night but who knows if you're lucky you'll get to hear it in the daytime too and then also when you're there all your electronic devices seem to magically break down they could be working and then they're gone obviously the one in the video seemed to be working fine but there are reported uh, encounters of, of electronic devices just suddenly breaking no longer having any kind of functioning device on them and then also people state that they see full body apparitions actual sightings of ghosts there too would i be brave enough let's say even if i had permission would i be brave enough to take even just a little mini cot and then go into one of those rooms in a dead of night and then spend my night there probably not i'm not going to spend in a place like that that would freak me out that place alone as is how it looks like from the outside is bad enough imagine from the inside in the middle of the night in a remote town like that where you're not going to have any electricity nearby no standard lights nothing it's just pitch black darkness and maybe your own flashlight that's not going to be good so i have seen though that apparently people have tried and obviously there's a lot of indications that people have stayed there more kudos to them but at least um, on my end no i wouldn't but that's pretty much it that's the info associated with this home what is again purported the most haunted house there in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Has anybody been there? Anyone happened to go by the outside of the location? Maybe been lucky enough to go on the inside with permission, of course. If so, please post about your encounters there. Um, there's plenty of examples apparently on YouTube of people haven't visited. So the location too, when I was looking up online, Nobody really um, has any more information on the town itself other than this house. This house now is the staple of the town. It seems like it's the one that that pops up on any kind of internet feed nowadays. So this is a great place to visit, especially if you're a ghost fan, because of all the history. Even in the last 25 years, it's just been pretty much abandoned, and no one has any um, indication of living there now. It's still, still very, very much so haunted. Could it be from the cemeteries? Could it be something else? Who knows, but it's definitely created its own stance, and that's why it's known as the most haunted house there in that country. So, all right, everyone. Thanks again, as always. Take care.